Hello friends, in many of my videos I have explained about how to calculate bonus tolerance if we have a material condition modifier with along with the geometrical tolerances. Uh, in the recent past I have been getting lot of inquiries from the viewers asking for a simpler method of calculating bonus tolerance. So in this video I am going to explain a method called the tolerance diagram method by which we can calculate the bonus tolerance much more simpler than the methods that I have told earlier. So for this I have taken a positional tolerance uh, example. So we have a positional tolerance applied at regardless of feature size for a whole size of 25 plus or minus 0.2 with reference to A, B, C. A being the rare phase which I have not shown in the drawing. B and C over here. Now for this requirement we can plot a graph this graph is called a tolerance diagram. On the y-axis, we have the to geometrical tolerances. On the x-axis, we will have the limit sizes. So in the x-axis, I will start with the least material condition. In our example, the least material condition is 25.2. From there, I reduce at a step of 0.1 until I reach maximum material condition 24.8. Now in y-axis, I start with 0.1 which is nothing but the geometrical tolerance given in the feature control frame. From there, I go in steps of 0.1 until I reach 0.5. How did I reach this 0.5? Decide on this 0.5 is 25 plus or minus 0.2 will give a tolerance of 0.4. That 0.4 plus 0.1 is 0.5. So I stop at 0.5 itself. Now for this requirement, we can plot a graph. The geometrical tolerance in this case positional tolerance is 0.1. So I draw a horizontal line at 0.1. In x axis, the extreme condition is maximum material condition. So I draw a vertical line and then complete it. Now, here since it is regardless of feature size, if the hole is produced at a 25, you just draw a vertical line, it meets at this line. So the positional tolerance is 0.1. So any size the positional tolerance will be 0.1 only. Now what we will do is just we will see what will happen if we add a maximum material condition modifier. So for this maximum material condition modifier, this entire thing remains same. Only thing is I have to just join this 0.5 to this end. Now what is the meaning? Let us say that if I want to check what is the positional tolerance when the hole is produced at 24.9, I draw a vertical line at 24.9 that will meet this graph, then I draw a horizontal line. So the positional tolerance of the hole when the hole size is 24.9 is 0.2. Similarly, when the hole is produced at 25.1, it is 0.4. When the hole is produced at 25.2, maximum positional tolerance of 0.5 is given. This is the second condition when maximum material condition is provided. Now third condition is when you have least material condition. Now what will happen? You have to start with maximum material condition and go towards least material condition. So here Twenty four point eight, twenty four point nine, twenty five, twenty five point one, twenty five point two. Now, when the least material condition is provided, when the hole is produced at the least material condition, that is twenty five point two, you will get the positional tolerance of point one, which is the value given in the feature control frame. When the hole is produced at a twenty four point nine, you will get a maximum a positional tolerance of point five. When the hole is produced at maximum material condition, the positional tolerance will also be maximum, which is 0.5. So this is one easy method by which you can get the positional tolerances. Now, whether you give maximum material condition or least material condition, this amount is nothing but bonus tolerance. So anything beyond this horizontal line, which goes and touches the inclined line, that amount is bonus tolerance. So here the bonus tolerance will be 0.4 minus 0.1, 0.3. In this case, the bonus tolerance will be 0.1. So total positional tolerance will be 0.2, bonus tolerance will be 0.1.
this methodology anything above this horizontal line up to the inclined line is called bonus tolerance which is common whether you give maximum material condition or least material condition hope this is much more easier for you to calculate the bonus tolerance thank you